This video was made possible by the good folks at Next Level Racing. To purchase a cockpit setup like mine or any other Next Level Racing products, check out nextlevelracing.com. What's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604. Yes, I'm still alive. I've just been uh, kind of taking it easy this week, but I thought I would get back into things with some Gran Turismo Sport action. So as most of you know, uh, they released this rain. So exciting new update for GT Sport. And you are on board the Audi R8 LMS Group 3. We're going to do a seven lap race here at the Red Bull Ring, which is currently the only course, only circuit I should say, that we have a uh, rain condition for. There are actually three conditions, basically a dawn, a daytime, which is what you're seeing here, and a dusk version of this rain. Each of them has varying degrees of wetness on the track and in the air. This is the, I believe the most wet of them. So I've got the heavy wet tires set on this Audi. We are starting in, uh, I guess it was 11th of 20 positions. And like I said, seven laps to get things done here. Looks like we're rapidly ascending the field. And you can see just how beautiful it is. Uh, I know we're only running 720p. It should be upscaled slightly, but uh, not quite enough. But uh, regardless, you can see how nice this looks. Gran Turismo Sport, of course, far exceeding what you would expect from a console title in terms of graphics. And it feels good, too. I was actually surprised. I thought it might be mostly a cosmetic thing, or they might make the whole track just feel like it's sopping wet, but instead there's just kind of patches. It's not necessarily in keeping with uh, where the water is shown on the, yikes, where the water is shown on the track uh, but there's still definitely slippery sections and you saw what happened there when I came into a quarter too fast as I say I'm running the heavy wet tires here so we should be somewhere in the uh, 137 range Actually, maybe a bit higher than that. I saw David Peril uh, run a 137-ish in these same conditions, same group of cars. So I don't, I doubt I'm fa as fast as David Peril. So we'll see what we can do here. So far, we have climbed into seventh position, and I hear cars banging, but it's uh, not me, thankfully. I want to put this Vision GT car behind me. Little slipstream. And uh, that was an interesting move. <laughs> Gonna let me have this one? Yep. Alright, in pursuit of an Aston Martin. And then it looks like a Lexus ahead of him. See that mist that's being kicked up by the cars? I mean, I don't know if even ACC's mist looks that good. So, of course, the Competizione on epic settings, I would say, looks better in the rain. Uh, but there's certain details that Gran Turismo Sport gets exactly right. And the force, fact, force feedback actually through, through my G29 feels really good. Did I say one... 36? How am I that slow? Anyway, it doesn't matter. 
entirely possible that I am just that slow. But I'm having fun being slow. Oh, definitely wasn't slow on the corner entry. Carried way too much speed there. One thing I will give as criticism as a bit of feedback here for the Gran Turismo Sport rain update is the sounds. The sound balancing is way off. So you hear that sort of staticky hiss sound of the uh, tires going over the wet track and that's fine at this level but when you build up speed it gets really loud and particularly when you get close to another car it just gets ridiculously loud and you'll hopefully hear that in just a few corners. See how loud that is? It's drowning out my engine. And I just can't imagine... You know, I have never raced a car in the rain, obviously, especially a Group 3 car, um, or GT3 car, but uh, I can't imagine it's that loud. That's way over the top, in my opinion. I don't know why they set it that high in the mix, but uh, regardless, they did. Well, that's one of very few complaints I have. I've actually been really enjoying my time here in Gran Turismo Sport. I guess as it turns out, David Peril is way faster, like six seconds faster than me. Shout out to David P. And uh, lots of wide open space, lots of real estate to work with ahead of me. So I'll just tell you a bit about Gran Turismo Sport and what I've been doing with it. Um, I actually pulled apart my big rig and uh, pulled up Frankensim. And uh, those of you who follow me on Twitter would have got a preview of Frankensim. But uh, I will be doing a video about it. But uh, anyway, just suffice it to say for now that uh, I have my G29 wheel in, uh, in action here in GT Sport. And I wanted to relearn GT Sport because I haven't played it for probably a year. I've just been PC simming pretty hard. And, um, or pretty exclusively, I should say. Uh, but uh, I heard Spa was coming. I thought Spa might have been part of the 1.43 update since uh, the World Finals in New York showed Spa. But uh, they're not ready to release it quite yet. We should have it very, very soon. I'm thinking sometime in October we should see Spa come to GT Sport. So I was kind of practicing up for that. Spa is a good add to any game. And it uh, just turns out that I really love driving GT Sport. Particularly been doing the mission challenges. Those are fun. I think I'm about 65% of the way through them. Alright, only one more car to go and then we should have the lead. And what we'll do here, guys, is we'll jump into a replay after this. But uh, even at 720p, you should be able to see just how beautiful this is in uh, replay mode. Oh, no. That's hardly fair. I'm going to surrender a position. Did he recover? Did he recover? There he goes. Oh, day back two positions. All right, so we got a fight on our hands for the last lap. It's a terrible passing spot. I'm going to wait till the start finish straight here. Alright, oh wait, got a good launch out of there. Should be able to pass one, if not two.
Come on, Audi. There we go. All right, so about one and a half laps to go. And I've secured the lead, so there should be a cruise to the finish. Unless I do stuff like that. But I mean, you got to give it up. Uh, just going back to talking about why I'm playing Gran Turismo Sport. Um, you got to really give it up. They've done a lot with this game. Um, considering most people didn't like it when it came out, you know, it was primarily online based. There wasn't even a single player mode to speak of when it came out. And then they did add that in an update. Car selection is massive. Track selection is improved huge. And it's still growing. Online is amazing. Huge online support. And I mean, the way they organize those world finals, there's little doubt that it's, you know, bigger than any other sim. It's pretty cool to see, actually. So even if you're not a fan of GT Sport, you gotta sort of appreciate what they're doing for sim racing in general. Even though many people consider it to sort of skirt the line of sim and game. Alright, final lap here. We'll see if we can set a purple lap. Trying to beat that 139.7. Traction control doing heavy work there. But yeah, if you don't yet own Gran Turismo Sport, um, could certainly be argued that it's among the best in the series. By the way, only a half second gap. Down 0.4 seconds on my best here, guys. So not a tremendous lap. It doesn't look like it'll be purple unless something amazing happens in this final sector. Oh, hold on. Woo. I'm not sure how I recovered that. And I'm getting passed on my right. Going to give him a wide berth here. All right. Hoping for the best here. This is going to be close. Get a slipstream. Who got it? Who got it? Oh, 0.038 seconds separated me. All right, guys. Uh, fun return to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, should be lots more for me this week. Thank you for putting up with my uh, lack of production lately. Hope you enjoyed the run. Take a look at this replay, and we'll see you guys next time.